have to further solutions academic don't forget to share and subscribe if you have not subscribed before on this video i'll be working you on turning point which is maximum and the minimum point and this condition there lies on the you know quadratic there are three types two types of quadratic equations when i have a s squared plus b s plus c equals to zero equals to y for instance and um, y equals to a s squared plus b s plus c now this one is maximum and this one is what minimum please take note of that very well now um when we talk about turning points you know you know that's where the 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 the, 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 the stuff talk turn now it can be this is what minimum turning point sorry this is money this is minimum turning point and if i have it like this this is maximum turning point maximum turning point please take note of that that is very very important now and um um you have to understand that this is how it's always been now which i will have this could be a function now here is known as what uh the y the x the y the x equals to zero and um, this is a and this is b now what i want to understand is that uh, my a and b are turning point a and b are what turning points but uh a is maximum i mean minimum point why b is what maximum point and i've told you that anytime you talk about for that equation like this is a maximum and uh for that equation like this is a minimum and your teacher will explain what is called cup and cap when it's in the form of cap is maximum in form of cup is minimum now um like when that you need to understand um uh second differentiation second uh differentiation or different different uh differential now when you talk about second differentiation, it will tell you whether is what maximum or minimum now when my dy the x squared second derivative is greater than is less than zero is what um maximum which where my d, d of of this of second derivative is greater than is zero this is minimum take note of that now take note of that very well now i can now say that this and this which i'll be talking about this and this now when you are talking about something like this okay sorry let me put this here now at this point we have it as maximum it means d square y will be what less than zero y here d square y all over is greater than what is zero take note of that very well which is the here is maximum and here is what minimum please take note of that very well now <coughs> when after i getting this when you differentiate the second time and the value is less than zero is a maximum and when you value the second time and the value is greater than zero is what uh, minimum now now let me have some problems so that to, to explain this part very well Okay, now look at this part. Um, okay. Okay, look at this part. I have some problems here which permit me to write them out. Okay, look at this question. 
Um, I think I need to generate another video for it, which is uh, the cases, which is cubic cases and uh, quadratic cases. Now, but let's try to play along with this and see like what will happen. Now, solution to this problem is a very simple one. What you just need to do here is very, very simple. What you need to do here is that um, you have what value of s will make the function this a maximum. Now, what you just need to do, y equals to x bracket of 4 minus x. Now, dy, dx equals to what? Uh, okay, let me first, sorry. I have 4x minus x squared, which I'll be having 4 minus 2x. 4 minus 2x. Now, when you are talking, it means turn this to 0, which is 4 minus 2x equals to 0. It means my x will be equals to 2. My x equals to 2. Now, it means it will become maximum at what? At x equals to what? At x equals to 2. Now, if my x equals to 2, I think I'll be having 2, which is 2, 2, that will be 4. Now, okay, that's going to be at, that it will be maximum. Now, um, don't forget that is a maximum, you know. And second one says that, um, okay, you are looking for this, and uh, you also turn it the same way, which um, I'll be having y equals to 3 minus 2x plus x squared. Now, dy, dx will be equals to minus 2 plus 2x. Now, which I'll be having my x, turn this to 0, uh, equals to 1. My x equals to 1. It means it will be maximum, uh, maximum at what? Maximum at what? x equals to 1. Don't forget, whenever you are looking for maximum or minimum, you have to turn it to what? 0. And the third one, which is the last part of it, now, you also move on to this. This gives us range of 0 to what? Degree to 180 degree, which y equals to uh, 6 sine bracket of 2x minus 25. That is first thing you do. Now, if I should differentiate this, this should be 2. I'll be having 12 cos 2x minus 25. Okay. Now, which is my y? The x, which is equals to that. Now, the next thing you will just do now is that um, you return this to a zero, which is, I'll be having 12 cos 2x minus 25 equals to zero, which I'll be having uh, here become uh, cos 2x minus 25 equals to zero, which I'll be having 2x minus 25 equals to cos inverse of a zero. Cos inverse of a zero will be... Um, it will be 90. Now, it means 2x equals to 90 plus 25, which I'll be having um, 115. 115 divided by 2, 2x, okay, x will be equals to 115 divided by 2, which I'll be having um, x equals to 57.5, which is, that is 0.5. Now, that is all about that. It means it will be a maximum at what? X equals to what? This number. And you see is the range of number from 0 to uh, this. I'll be stopping here due to time. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching.